Okay, class, so we're back to the second part of this uh, opening lecture about the syllabus. So again, I'm going to just go back to share my screen. Um, and we ended off by discussing how we'll use eClass, how we'll use Zoom, how we'll use YouTube for this class. Now, so what are we going to do? What are we, what are we studying in this class and why? Um, here's the course description. Um, basically, I want to familiarize you with kind of key controversies and issues related to food and agriculture, both in Alberta, in Canada, and the rest of the world, um, and uh, find, give you ways uh, to think about the, how the debates are framed and, um, and how people position themselves relative to those debates and how to make their points and influence public policy, um, as well as giving you analytical concepts from economics and ethics that are relevant to decisions, social decisions about these topics, even our own personal decisions about the topics, um, and uh, give you some kind of concrete examples for kind of applying those, um, th those concepts to these kind of challenges about food and agriculture. So I, here are my um, learning outcomes, uh, was sort of what I hope you get out of the class. Um, I hope that you learn to think critically about these challenges in our food and agriculture systems and exercising critical thinking about food and agriculture be relevant for other parts of your, your study and your education. Um, so these are some of the topics uh, that are come up that are big topics, right? Just uh, the links between food and health is a big topic. Um, the link between animal, how we manage animal and our animal reservoirs uh, and, um, and human diseases, human zoonotic diseases, uh, such as COVID-19. Um, uh, the links between uh, agriculture as really the, the largest um, of impact of on our environment, you know, you know, the biggest use of water, the one of the largest create generator of greenhouse gases, um, one of the largest users of land in the world, uh, responsible for a large amount of the deforestation on the planet is due to agriculture. Um, there are a number of technologies in the way we produce our food and how we handle our food that is um, debated. Uh, food waste is a large topic now and the sort of food waste and ethics about food waste um, and climate change. Agriculture is both a contributor to and, uh, a, and a sector which affect, is affected by climate change. I want you to be able to learn and apply these analytical concepts. So there are sort of concepts here from economics as well as from actually life cycle analysis is more from engineering and accounting. Um, concept of one health uh, is a way to think about how do we manage zoonotic diseases. Um, going to introduce to you economic and ethical criteria uh, right from next week. That's going to be relevant for your analysis. And then I want you to show me that you can synthesize and process information about these really complex, important topics and, and simplify them into information pieces that are suitable for different types of audiences. You're primarily going to do number four through your CSL experience, which I'll discuss more in a few minutes. Um, AREC 173 is a pretty interesting course in how many the different programs and, um, and certificates that you can um, kind of make progress toward through taking a Rec 173, successfully completing a Rec 173, it's required for the BA Environmental Studies. So, if you're in first or second year of that, then you are uh, you're in the right place, um, and you will should should be able to meet other BA Environmental Studies students in this class. There, I think there are 26 of the 90 students in this class are in BA in Environmental Studies. It's also a program requirement for Human Dimensions of ENCS, and I think there might be some, I don't know what the number is, uh, at least 10 students in that who are in this class. Um, in addition, it's an approved program elective in a number of uh, programs in, in agriculture, as well as uh, it's often used by students as a program elective for arts. Um, 
It can also be used for the certificate in community engagement. So if you like it, uh, the community engagement part of this class, you can register for a certificate in it uh, and use this class as to meet one of your requirements. Uh, also, if you're interested in sustainability and you see you're intrigued by the sustainability component of the class, you may be interested in uh, pursuit of that certificate. Uh, these are um, certificates which are, which are part of your parchment and the degree you get from the university. So uh, lots of people who are here for different reasons, and I think that's why we get, we have people from, I don't know, maybe 12 of the 18 faculties on our campus. So we have a wide variety of people who are taking the class. Um, here's uh, some material about evaluation. So there is, you can see the big picture, the big ticket items are the final exam worth 30%, the midterm worth 15%, so 45% of your total grade is from exams um, that will be based on the course content. There are three uh, assignments and, and that the first one will start pretty soon within doing about two weeks from the first week. Um, and uh, those uh, make up a total of 15% of your grade, which leaves 40% of your grade to be based on CSL. And we'll get into that in a bit more detail. You have a, a dossier that you will um, uh, create and add to in the course of the semester. So there are certain elements of the dossier that uh, you can start working on soon after you get going, uh, as well as we will be talking about uh, reflections, which are part of the dossier. So it'll be your final dossier, and your, sorry, in your interim dossier, dossier, you have two reflections, in your final dossier, you'll have four reflections. And I will um, grade both the, the content of those reflections, as well as kind of how you, you grow during the course of a semester in your reflections. Okay, the material, so the, the midterm and the final in this online environment, I'm making them open book. Open book for me means any of the PowerPoint slide decks that are posted to eClass uh, that I use in class, as well as um, the readings that I post to eClass. I don't expect you I, to not to refer to any other online material or and I, and, and I expect all of the work on the exams to be your own individual work and not the group work with any other person. Um, so if I get a feeling that you've looked up something on Wikipedia as a definition, uh, then that won't be, that, that, that I don't expect you to, to do. Uh, and you, there's academic consequences for that. Um, I expect you to submit things through eClass by 10 p.m. Uh, on the, the due dates, uh, 10 p.m. Edmonton time for the, on these due dates. And so that will be a little bit later for the students in Asia in, in their time. Um, and here are the possible uh, penalties for late assignments. Uh, I have posted the 2018 and 19 midterm and final exams to eClass. You should know though that uh, in the online environment, I, I won't follow exactly the same format uh, because, uh, because of the open book nature. So it will be quite similar, but a, a little bit different than the 2018 and 19 um, exam formats. Okay, the exams are the two things, the midterm exam and the final exam are the two times when I expect all 90 of you to come together uh, to, uh, to be together at the same time to take the exams. There are extra time possible possibilities for those who have gone through accessibility services and, and for whom I receive an accessibility services um, accommodation request. Um, the, um, we're using a four point grading system uh, and so which, it, which is done at the University of Alberta. So these are letter grades which are shown in your parchment. Uh, I communicate between, I translate between the number of grades that you receive, um, you know, as the assignments, as you add up in your grade book, you, you can think about that in percentage terms um, with the different weights on the different items. Uh, your, if your final term or your final semester grade is greater than 80%, then you'll receive some type of A 
an A plus, an A, or an A minus. If your grade is between 70 and 80, in percentage terms, you'll receive a B, B plus, B, or B minus. Same thing for C, D, um, F is any grade less, less than 50%. Um, the cutoffs for, for with between, say, B and B minus, uh, or between B plus and B, will be things that I set uh, at when all of the grades are in. Um, let's see, you, if you miss a midterm, then you should be, get in touch with me uh, and we'll figure that out, uh, whether we uh, arrange a separate um, exam or whether, uh, or whether the weight is transferred to the final exam. Okay, key dates are given here. Um, and I'm just going to stop. I'm going to go through the key dates and then take a break and, uh, and so that we can tackle the third and final section in another um, YouTube video. So key dates, first class, September 1st. Uh, there are quite a few dates here. You see September 8th, um, September 23rd, September, October 9th. There are a number of dates which have to do with e -class, which with the CSL office, CSL office has, um, has dates uh, for their needs. There also are dates which are uh, given by me uh, for, uh, and, and that are uh, related to some type of an assignment which, which is evaluated. So there is a whole section on CSL that is, to, that is on the E-Class website that is all about, all determined by the CSL office. So that to provide um, similarity across the campus. Uh, so these are all dates to keep in mind for this class. You might want to think about your calendar. Okay, and just with that, then I'll break uh, and end this recording uh, and come back in a minute with the third of this introductory lecture. So I'll stop share and I